thing my students ask me quite a lot is how can I have two things running at the same time in my Python program? So, for example, they might have a quiz, but then they also want a timer and the timer to be able to control when the quiz ends. Now, normally you'd make a timer and then you'd make a quiz, but the problem is the timer would run first, finish, and then the quiz would start, which is no good. We want the timer to run in the background. So um, we can do this with something called threading, which allows two processes, or more than two processes, to be run at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a timer, and I'm just going to call it countdown, um, and it's going to be a procedure. And I'm going to make a global variable. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we need to know the time of the timer at any given point. So when it gets to zero, we want the program to stop. So we need this variable to be available anywhere in the program, hence why we're making it a global variable. So I'm going to set the timer to five seconds. And what we want is it to count down to zero. So I'm going to make a little loop here uh, for x in range, and we will say five seconds. We can alter that to be longer if we wanted. Okay, uh, sorry, I mean, when I say five seconds, actually the loop's going to run five times. And what we're going to do is my timer equals my timer minus one. So each time the loop runs, we are going to take one off the total, and we're going to pause for a second, and the loop will run again. So essentially, this five count should count down to zero and then stop. Okay, and then we want to come out of the loop and go print something like out of time okay so this is our timer now what we want is we now want to say this timer needs to start but at the same time our main program needs to start so we're going to call this um, countdown uh, thread and what we're going to do is we're going to equals threading dot Red, open brackets, target equals countdown. Okay, target being our function called countdown. Okay, so countdown thread essentially will start our background timer off. And then we're going to do countdown thread dot start. Okay, so this will start our timer. Now, what we want is another program to run at the same time. Okay, so we're just going to do a little demo program. And I'm just going to, um, just so you can see how it works, and then we'll try on a slightly larger program. Okay, so while my timer is greater than zero, so in other words, while it's not zero, because zero is when we want it to stop, I just want it to print hello world. Okay, and then pause for a second, sleep one second and then when it's finished we want the uh, timer to say let's, let's say when the whole thing's finished we want it to say time up okay so this is just a kind of demo of what we're going to see so we'll just run this uh, Okay, so we've got our Hello Worlds. Now, in the background, our timer should be running, and it should stop, there we go, after five seconds. Okay, so we've come out the loop because timer is zero. Okay, so it's calculated that my timer is zero after five seconds. It's stopped this loop, and it's printed time up, and then out of time is the other loop there. Okay, um, so I could actually get rid of that just to make it look a bit more sort of uh, obvious so you can see what's happening. So Hello World is running, this timer is running in the background, and it stops after five seconds and then says out of time. Okay. So if we then wanted to apply that to maybe um, something slightly more complex, maybe like a quiz, okay. So what we could do is I'm going to keep my loop there and Hopefully, have I done it? No, I've copied the wrong thing. So I'm just going to copy a quiz. Now, this is just a quiz that one of my students did for me. So I'm just going to borrow that. 
and I hope she doesn't mind. And I'm going to paste it in. And I'm just going to indent it so it's inside the loop here. Okay. But this could be anything, it doesn't have to be a quiz. Now, this quiz will keep running, so the whole thing will run while timer is greater than zero. But the problem is, it will count down, for, say, from five to zero, but it will still run the whole thing because it's indented inside the loop. So we need a way of breaking outside the loop if the timer is zero. So what I'm going to do after each question, I'm going to put if my timer, which is in the procedure, is equal to zero, then we're going to break. Okay, so in other words, we want to break out of our loop and we want to stop the whole program. Okay, so I'm going to paste that after each question. Now, the reason I'm doing this is what I want them to be able to do is answer the question, but if they run out of time, it doesn't go on to the next question. Okay, so We'll give ourselves a bit more time this time. We'll say like 10 seconds. Okay. There we go. So that's our timer. And here's our quiz. And when the timer reaches zero in our thread up here, so when my timer variable is zero, then it will finish the game. Okay, out of time. And then what we could do is come out of the loop entirely and do something like print uh, your score is score okay because we've got a score variable looking after the score in the quiz so let's go ahead and try it so this should allow us to play the game for 10 seconds and then at that point it will then give us the last question and it will stop oh i haven't defined score <laughs> that would help so let's do that up here score equals zero there's always something Okay, cool. So the time is running in the background. This is the quiz. And let's go for a C. Oh, name. I have not. I have asked for someone's name. Oops. Uh, name equals input. Happens to all of us. Uh, what is your name? Okay, cool. Fingers crossed. Third time lucky. This is the problem of copying and pasting programs in. Uh, okay, here we go. Right, C, correct. Okay, so remember our time is on 10 seconds, out of time. Okay, we've stopped. Okay, so it's not letting me go on to the next question and it's printed out my score. Okay, so I'm going to increase the timer slightly just so you can see it moving on to, say, the second question. Just to explain, we've got three questions in here. Okay, so we want it to stop, in this case now, after 15 seconds. Okay, here we go. So, Neptune. I'm going to get one wrong just so you can see the scoring system. Okay, out of time, so it's not let us go on to the third question because we have had 15 seconds. So, we have here a uh, background timer which uses threaded um, and we're using the global variable my timer so our program down here can see how much time we've got and stop the loop or stop the game at an appropriate time so that's a way of um, having a timer running in the background